Hi everyone, my name is Sophie. I'm a student here at TU Dublin Talla and I'm going to take you through how to complete your online registration. So first you're going to receive an email that's going to contain all the information you'll need to complete your registration and it's also going to contain a link to take you to the online registration portal. Right now I'm going to take you through the first step of registration. So I've just opened up the link there in the email and that has got both my user ID and the PIN. Your user ID is just going to be your student number so we're going to go ahead and type that in here. And then you're just going to go ahead and enter the PIN that you were given in your email as well and hit login. So once you've logged in, you're going to be brought here to the general menu. You're going to be able to check your address, your phone number, your email address and your emergency contact. So we're going to go in and just make sure that those are all correct before we go any further. So that's correct. We're going to hit view email addresses. That's correct. And then we're going to click into emergency contacts and make sure that's correct. If your emergency contacts are not correct, you can come down here to update emergency contacts and you can add someone new by clicking new contact right here. So once you've made sure all of that is correct, you're going to go ahead and hit registration and fees up here. And that's going to take you to this page. So we're going to click into registration and hit online registration for full time students only. You're going to go ahead and submit for your academic year and then have a quick read through all of this. This is all your data protection information. Once you've had a read through that, you can hit I confirm that I've read and then you can come down here and hit yes, you may contact me by SMS and then you're just going to press register. So once you've hit register, we're going to be taken to the online registration page. In here, as you can see, there are nine individual sections that will all have to be filled out. I'll take you through these one by one now. So the first thing we're going to do is click into the personal information tab. And in here, that's going to ask you to enter your PPS number and your email address. If you are an international student, you will not have a PPS number. You're just going to type none into this box. Then you're going to go ahead and enter your email address in here. Make sure the rest of the information is correct and hit continue. You're now being brought to the mailing address tab. Again, you're just going to read through all of this, make sure it is correct and hit continue. If you need to make any changes, you're going to email the registration team at this email address here at the top of the page. So just hit continue when you've made sure that's all okay. Same again then, this is the term address tab. You're going to have a quick look through, make sure everything is correct and hit continue. These are your emergency contact details, which we've already filled out. Just have a quick read through. Once again, make sure everything is correct and press continue. You're then being brought to your program details. This is where you'll find your course information. Have a read through this, make sure everything is correct and hit continue. This page here is the module information. Every course will have different modules and you'll find information on your modules in this tab here. Have a quick look through that and hit continue. On this page here, you're going to be asked to complete the questions below. Uh, it's all about previous third level institutions you've attended. So it's going to ask you to fill out all of that information here. Once you've done that, again, hit continue and you'll be brought to this page. So this is your fee questionnaire. If you have applied for the SUSE grant, you're going to put your student grant application number in this box here. If you have not applied for a SUSE grant, you're going to type no into this box and move on to the next question. Again, have a read through this question and select yes or no, whichever describes you. You're then going to hit continue and that's going to bring you back to this menu here. So once we've completed all of that, we're going to come down to the bottom of this page and hit confirm registration. You're going to have a quick read through this, hit I agree to the terms and conditions above and confirm registration. You've now been taken to registration fees. So since we did not enter a SUSE grant number, we have the option to pay now or pay later. Again, you're just going to hit I agree to the terms above and click whichever option best suits you. 
Part one of your online registration is now complete and one of my colleagues will take you through how to upload an image for your student card. Hi, I'm Gladstone. I'm going to show you how to upload an image for your student ID card. So on this page, you click return to main menu. Here you'll find registration and fees. You just click that. And then you click student image. Uh, here you can choose your file. Uh, the image should be a clear photo of yourself resembling a passport photograph. Uh, you then upload the image and select it. Uh, once this is complete, you can submit and return to the main menu. Uh, after you've su submitted your image, uh, you'll receive an email on how to receive your student ID card. The final step to completing your registration is to complete the HEA survey. So to do that, from this general menu, you're going to hit Registration and Fees, hit the HEA Access Survey link, press HEA Access Survey, fill in all of your questions here, hit Complete when you're done, and that's you registered.